Here's your weekly wrap up comparing DI and SIADH. ADH causes antidiuresis, so when it's secreted by the pituitary gland, our patient will retain water. When the pituitary gland doesn't secrete enough ADH, our patients can develop diabetes insipidus, or DI. Think dry inside. Without ADH, our patient will produce huge amounts of diluted urine, which can lead to a fluid volume deficit, dehydration, hypotension, or potentially hypovolemic shock. If the opposite occurs, then we call it SIADH. If there's too many letters, then there's too much ADH. With too much antidiuresis, the kidneys will hold on to that water. This can result in weight gain and dilutional hyponatremia. There isn't any sodium that gets retained, so SIADH patients remain euvolemic and will not experience peripheral edema. Keep in mind, in DI, our patient is voiding large amounts of diluted urine, which will concentrate our bloodstream. In SIADH, the patient is retaining water so that urine becomes concentrated and the blood becomes diluted. If you need more help with the endocrine system, book a one-to-one -one tutor session with us on archerreview.com.